today's feature is on the latest TLV release for the month of June. Several castings here. We have the Mitsubishi Pajero Super Acid, which is the recolor, including one that is the Diorama Collection 64. Also a pair of Subaru Legacy Touring Wagon 220 in red and green, and the long-awaited Toyota Land Cruiser, one a civilian version, and the other a riot police from Kumamoto Prefecture. And now let's take a closer look at the Mitsubishi Pajero Super Acid. Just like the previous release, the box is in an irregular shape because the casting itself is pretty huge. Otherwise, standard packaging design just like the previous release. Very clean and detailed casting, typical of a TLB version. The chrome parts is a little bit unexpected. Plastic insert headlights with very clean details. Details on the grille can be improved and the badge is very legible and sharp. Realistic wheel sets that rolls extremely well with no suspension. The body color is very classic in champagne gold and white color combination. The division is very clean and the side mirror is already pre-installed. It's a right-hand drive casting with a very detailed interior. Equally detailed rear. Love the spare wheel cover with a Mitsubishi branding. In my opinion, the chrome parts may be a bit of overkill. More interior viewing with the sunroof. A very detailed plastic base and I'm very impressed. Although recolor, the Pajero Super Acid is a very impressive casting. Next, the Diorama Collection 64 box set which is the recolor that features on camping. It's the second box set labeled as 1B for collectors who have missed the first edition. Several components are included in this set which makes a great features for diorama photography. The Pajero Super Acid with a roof rack is also included. All the components are hold neatly in a blister pack. The set comprises the man or the father setting up the tent, the lady or a mother enjoying her coffee in a seated position, a standing girl looking blank, a previously golden retrieval but now it's in white, the typical fireplace, a cooler box which is also a recolor, that also includes a chair. The Pajero Super Acid that comes with a box set is totally identical to the previous release. Everything is the same of what I shared earlier with the exception of the roof rack. The color combination is very classic in gold and green. Realistic wheel sets with no suspension. The roof rack in silver can hold a couple of items which is great for diorama photography. Same detailed interior, impressive rear with the spare wheel cover in the Pajero branding. Presentation of the Pajero is very clean and it looks realistic. Plastic base with excellent details and the Diorama 64 with the pair of Pajero is a perfect setup for a nice Diorama photography and I'm very happy to add the Pajero to my collection. Next, the Subaru Legacy Wagon 220. This pair of Legacy Wagon is a variation of what I shared earlier as well. Standard packaging design in a typical large box. First impression, the Legacy Wagon is very clean. The paint job is very beautiful in striking red in a high gloss finish. It's very close to a candy finish and I'm very impressed. Love the details on the grille and the Subaru badge is very sharp and legible. Realistic wheel sets with a standard suspension and rolls extremely well. Side mirror is included for the casting. Very nice and detailed interior for the price point. Equally detailed and impressive rear, metal base with decent details, an overall and understated but detailed casting which is great for my Legacy collection. Next, the Subaru Legacy Touring Wagon 220 in green. Everything is the same except for the difference in body color. Although the finishing is also very premium but I think red is looking much better. All the details is very consistent with the green. The Legacy Wagon is clean cut with plenty of details. Equally impressive rear just at the front. Metal base and the pair of Legacy Wagon in two different color pass extremely well. Next, the TRV Toyota Land Cruiser 
The Land Cruiser is a highly anticipated casting and is a favorite among TLB collectors. The last release of the Land Cruiser has been quite a couple of years and now it has made a comeback with another variation. The Toyota Land Cruiser casting is a classic. Really like the details on the grill, including the Toyota brand mark. Headlights is also equally very detailed and promising. Very clean and intricate details, typical of a TLV. Realistic wheel sets that rose extremely well with a chrome plate. My only complaint is the missing side mirror. The rear looks basic but it's equally detailed. Very basic color combination and it's very retro in cream and red. Sadly, no opening parts for this Land Cruiser. Plastic base with a very impressive details. Wheel set is skinny, which I believe is accurate. Although no side mirror, I'm very happy that the Land Cruiser make a return. Next, the Toyota Land Cruiser with a Riot Police team, which I believe is a highlight for this month release. The details are exactly similar to the previous Land Cruiser with an additional of a siren and a loudspeaker. This casting is really a classic and the loudspeaker can be found in many of the TLV police. I believe it's been used for public announcement. I really like the Riot Police color scheme in light grey. It also includes marking for the Kumamoto police. Equally detailed rear with the police marking. Sadly, the rear door can't be opened, hence no opening parts for this casting. TRV is one of the best makers in 164 scale, and all their police casting is very impressive, or even components that you have to install yourself for most of the casting. The details are all very understated but very realistic, and I'm very happy to add this latest Land Cruiser to my Land Cruiser collection. Let me know what do you think of this batch of release, Stay tuned for more TLV features and remember to like, share and sub to this channel. Thanks everyone. Bye.